What's going on, everybody? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Lauren Boebert and how she basically just said that LGBT children should have to stay in the closet legally until they're 21. Let's talk. I don't do regrets. Trying to learn from my lessons, but do I get it yet? I want to set an example, but I'm not sure I didn't handle All my demons, I'm thinking that I should court a vet I fight for all respect I'm working overtime to keep up my head I understand I'll get the love when I'm dead So my focus is red Choose the black, I'd almost keep it me chosen I've been the token, now the back is ahead On my soapbox, chuck What's going on, everybody? Welcome and welcome back to the channel This is Georgia Carolina, your gated and discrimination-free community Where we personalize culture and entertainment And then curate a conversation that's based on self discovery and growth. I am your pop culture coordinator of all things inclusion and awareness, Jordan Renee. And I'm happy to have you back for another video. Okay, so this Republican lady, Lauren Boebert, I just happen to be scrolling through Twitter, minding my business like I always do. And I see an article basically saying that she believes that because we're required to uh, wait until we're 21 to buy tobacco and to buy alcohol and, and all of those type of things that we should wait until we're 21 to make a decision about our sexuality and our gender identity, right? What that basically means is that we should be forced to stay in the closet until we're 21 years old. Um... Do you understand how fucked up that is? Clearly you don't. Because this was some offhand comment that I feel like she was saying, probably trying to get a get a comedic or a, or, or, a, or a comical reaction and you about to get your ass read. Here's the thing. This is very predatory towards children because what she's saying is that children should be forced to lock away parts of themselves that are diametrically integral to their emotional and their emotional stability and their mental health all for the sake of heterosexual fragility i don't think you understand the complexities of what you just tweeted so let me break this down for you what you're saying is that the mental health and the emotional safety of children who are of an lgbt experience deserve less security and less emotional freedom and they deserve to have the safe space of the freedom of expression taken away from them because it makes heterosexual people uncomfortable that is disgusting I don't understand how a children, how a child's sexual identity or a child's gender identity. Why? I don't understand how we can have a conversation about policing humans bodies in America. We're still having this conversation about policing bodies in America. Like, y'all didn't get enough of this shit when y'all were trying to force women to not have abortions or or trying to police how women handle their own bodies when it comes to being pregnant. Like, I don't understand how you are trying to personalize or trying to legalize someone's individual experience as a human being. You are trying to restrict somebody's emotional freedom. You are trying to restrict somebody's emotional safety. You are trying to rid children of the safe space to naturally develop in, into the people they who into the people who they truly are. And you think that's okay. I don't understand. Because how is allowing a straight child to express their sexuality, their gender identity freely without any context questioning or consequence. Okay. But yet a child who is of the LGBT experience is expected by law to remain in the closet. How does that make sense? 
Are you saying that heterosexual children are more deserving of a safe space to ex to express themselves emotionally? Are you saying that heterosexual children are more deserving of being sexualized as children? Are you saying that heterosexual children are freer and and more appropriate to explore their sexuality and their gender identity because they are exploring it within a heterosexual context or a or a context that is normal to American perspective. This is predatory. This is extremely predatory. This is extremely predatory and this is extremely creepy for we, for us to be talking about children in this way. This is not only damaging to child development. This is damaging to a child's mental health. It's damaging to a child's emotional freedom of expression. Like how I don't understand how you stifling some of the most important development in a child's life until they are the age of 21. I don't understand how you don't expect that to lead to other ramifications and other shortcomings in a child's development. How do you expect children to have full range of communication skills if they are legally afraid to be themselves? I don't understand how you don't think that this is going to backfire and raise the number of DL men in America. I don't think like what you're asking for is a spike in STIs. What you're asking for is a spike in HIV. What you're asking for is another <laughs> epidemic because I don't understand how you subjecting children to a closet does not sub does not simultaneously encourage DL behavior. I don't understand how you don't see this as putting women at risk. You are so hell bent on stifling the LGBT community that you don't realize you are subjecting children to damaging, damaging restrictions and constraints. What you're doing is now raising a bunch of DL men and or women for that matter. What you're doing is this is disgusting that we have to have this conversation about people in general. But the fact that we are having this conversation about children is absolutely disgusting to me. This is predatory and it is gross. But side note. Can we also talk about the logistics of this law that you want to petition or this law that you feel like should be a thing? How do you expect the government to enforce a law without the child coming out? So you want them to you want the child to stay in the closet legally, but how do you go about enforcing that? How do you go about enforcing that? Like, I really need to know, how does this anti-LGBTQ legislation actually work? Because clearly, you are so hell-bent on stifling LGBT people that you are willing to put children at risk. So clearly, equality is not the goal for you. Clearly, the goal for you is segregation and, uh, and oppression. So much so that you are willing to subject children to this. I don't understand how you feel like this is okay. I don't understand how you didn't think this through. I don't understand how you didn't proofread this tweet and think, oh, what are the ramifications of that? What is this really saying? What could this tweet imply? You are subjecting children to a whole world of mental damage. On top of the damage that we already feel from the societal closet that we're forced into because we as children are scared to be ourselves. Now you want to add a legal tie to that. 
you want children to not feel safe in their own society. You're encouraging children to not feel safe in their own society under the threat of legal action. This is how much you hate LGBTQ people. Why? What's your gripe with the queer community? Why do you hate the queer community so much? I don't understand. Make it make sense to me. Make it make sense to me. If you're gonna talk about morality, then you need to keep it a buck and keep it all the way 100. Like, call it what it is. This is blatantly discriminatory. This is predatory. This is ch like, this is predatory against children. I I'm sorry. Like, I can't call it anything else but because you're specifically targeting people who are under the age of 21. Those are children. Those are children. Because in any other context, most of the time in in our society, people who are under the age of 30 are always called children. So let's not be selective about what children are when it comes to this now. Young adults, whatever the case may be, at the at the end of the day, you're talking about emotionally stifling people in the most intense and integral part of their development as people. Girl, they've already banned conversion therapy. Now you want to sit here and make it legal, make it illegal for them to come out until they're 21. You're a disgusting human being. You're a disgusting human being and I don't really care about a retort. I don't need a response. I don't want to hear an opposite perspective. That is disgusting. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close because I have nothing more to say and there's nothing else that I need to hear. At the end of the day, this woman perpetuated the need for the emotional stifling, the mental damaging, and the pred and predatory behavior on natural child development. There's nothing anybody needs to say to me about that. So thank you guys so much for being here. This is Georgia Carolina and like the video, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all of the thank that the thank the thank the thanks, and I'll holla y'all in the next one. Peace. Goodbye, I, I. Hmm. Evil predatory bitch. <laughs>